everyone, NeuroRebel here, and this week we are going to talk about autistic people and sex. So if you're interested and want to know more, please stay tuned. Autistic people can and do have sex. Okay, that's it. End of video. Guys, we'll talk to you next time. Just kidding. I'm not going to let myself off that easily. But there is a misconception out there that autistic people do not have sex or have urges or any of those things that are common a lot of other humans, although some autistic people may not experience sexual urges or have sex, a lot of us do because we're just human. There is this myth that autistic people just can't be sexual beings, but that's definitely not true with me or my partners. I've asked on Twitter what other autistic people's experience with sexuality is because I've found that sex can be a very wonderful sensory experience. It was a very interesting conversation. We talked about many things, including the fact that a lot of autistic people commented and said, hey, you know, we're actually very sexual and some of us are even in the kink community. I do want to mention that there were a great number of people on t the Twitter community that said that they were also autistic and asexual. So the point is, just like with neurotypicals and the rest of humanity, autistic sexuality ranges the full sexual spectrum. But a lot of autistic people on Twitter said that they enjoyed sex is because it is, and I agree with this, a pleasurable sensory activity. A lot of us are sensory seekers and we find pleasure in sex because if you do it right, it can be very pleasurable. Also autistic people on Twitter who shared that for them, the sensory aspects of sex are not pleasurable and can even be overwhelming and are off-putting. This also makes sense because each and every autistic person has very different sensory needs, has a unique sensory profile, and different sensory things that they enjoy or must avoid. There is no one unified experience of autistic people and sex, but I don't expect there should be. There's not any one experience of neurotypical people with sex either. Everyone likes different things, everyone's into different things, and that's just human nature. These are things people don't want to talk about with regards to autistic people. And it's unfortunate because people are often infantilizing us and saying, oh no, they're autistic. They couldn't possibly be interested in sex. They couldn't possibly want to have sex. This can be very harmful for a lot of reasons. One big reason being that autistic and neurodivergent young people may not get proper sex education. There's already a lot of statistics on sex education and just assuming abstinence doesn't necessarily have great outcomes compared to when young people are properly educated about how to have safe and consensual sex. That's another very serious part of needing to have sex education or have the conversations about sex with your autistic or neurodivergent children. Because assuming they won't have sex and not having the conversations with them around sex and boundaries and being able to say no, we need to have these conversations. Otherwise, we are leaving our youth in a very dangerous position when these situations inevitably come up. I hope I did this one justice. I'm not going to talk too long about this one. I just think... It's important to talk about why assuming autistic people are never going to have any interest in sex is 
harmful. We need to destigmatize and open up and be willing to admit and share on some of these more intimate topics. With boundaries, that's as much as I'm willing to share today. Know your own personal limits. If you don't feel like making a YouTube video on this topic, I will completely understand. Very huge and special thank you to my Patreon supporters and Facebook subscribers for being the power behind the Neural Rebel content creation engine. I could not do this without you. Those subscribers, as a special thank you, get access to videos like this one before they're released to the public, generally about a month in advance. It's just a very small way to say thanks for all of the help that you do to make sure I am able to continuously create high quality content. I'll talk to you all next week. I put out new videos every Wednesday. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you have ideas for a future topic or something you would want to hear about in the future, drop a comment below. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.